Paul. Oh. I don't like this. The masked creature is mute. Save the occasion. That's a dead person. The spirit does not talk to you, though the pain in its eyes is all. This door is locked tight, but there's a sliding hatch at ankle height. Grains of sand drift from beneath the door and form the tiniest dune. Peering in, you can barely see as your vision is limited by a cobweb draped across the hatch. Oh, that gave me willies. You see an empty room carpeted with sand. It's quiet in the room. Too quiet. That doesn't look like sand in there. Okay, there is sand in there. I've spotted the servant them. emits a menacing growl. Oh, sorry. What did I find? I heard a puppy. <gasps> Dot! Oh! We found a puppy! You know, Sabeel actually has to come with us. Losa. Servant responds with a blank look and a low. Oh, I can walk in without them getting pissed. Okay. Hey, doggy. If the master loves you more than he loves me. Then, Dot, you're a bigger idiot than you look. Don't be mean. I don't like that. Master's the master. Master knows the dog is better than the cat. Master says good dog. Does master say good cat? No. No, master does not. See? The cat gives the dog a long, languid look of carefully disguised contempt. Then she sighs and turns to you. Settle an argument for us. Oh, God. Dog's body here thinks that because the master is grateful for his, meaning the dog's, mindless devotion, he loves his dog more than he loves his cat. Oh, I, man. on the other hand, know full well that it's the master's admiration for my general bearing, demeanor, and intrinsic greatness what is most indicative of a state of actual love. He near worships me, he does. Master loves his dog. Master thinks his cat is cool. Not the same thing. You're a moron. No, I'm not. I'm black brown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black brown. Oh man. What I'm dealing with? Come on, settle the argument. I love this game. Tell him he's wrong. Uh, because of the fourth option, I kind of want to take that because maybe I'll find something else out. But I want to say he loves them both. Dog. Oh, cat. Dog. Can't win, can I? Lay down, Jada. Lay down, goof turd. The animals argue on. Dog. Oh, dog. Can't win. Aw, I didn't get whatever I was supposed to. I think I was supposed to choose one. There's a diamond in here. Mine. Chew toys. Can I give him his collar? Like... The cat and the dog appear to be. Oh. Uh. Oh. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do something with the the collar. No dice.
All right. I guess uh, we're going onwards to the creepy spider area. This door is locked tight, but peering in, the servant emits a menacing growl. Yeah, can't do that when they're doing that. All right. The masked servant does not speak. Really? They're guarding is terrible. I suppose they are freaking just uh I don't know, mindless. I'm liking the music. Sounds like a creepy horror kind of like you would hear in a child's playroom. Painting of man. I serve only one. Antiques talk. Funny. Recipe for cursed poison flask. Disembodied hand. You're gonna eat that, Sabil. Oh god, that freaks me out! Her long, long legs tickling the sandy floor. Oh, I didn't like that. Intelligence gleams forth from eight beady eyes. She opens her mouth, hissing at you. I should be able to understand you. That's real. You know, my little pepper pot, that is ever such bad manners to enter a queen's boudoir without permission. But what's this? Ugh. Something familiar beats with it. Yes! Oh! Holy crap! A gift. From one of uh, my I was just gonna say, hopefully she leaves me alone because I'm, I've got bit by the other spider. Cool. Her enormous body closer, looming over you until you are enveloped under her shadow. Gross. I don't like Venom it. Venom sizzles to the sand from her fangs as you are pinned in place under all eight of her eyeballs. Creepy. You come here for me. You desire another spider's kiss. Ugh, I have so goosebumps right now. And you're really afraid of it happening again, you still get nightmares. <laughs> I'll try anything once, but you've already tried that. Yeah, I'm gonna say I've already tried that. How rude you are, sugar plum. But I'm not interested in you like that. I've already got plenty of babies. So you are still prey. Yeah, I, was, I figured she'd want to eat me. I hunger, and I hear my princelings blubbering in their loving cocoons. Time for us to feast. Say, with the amount of Gordia's venom running through your blood, it would be cannibalism for her to eat you. You'd happily give her someone else's flesh to spare your own. I don't think I have any body parts. I'm going to say it'd be cannibalism and I'll give her a different body part. A trade you say, Poppet. Let mama see what you have to offer. Yet. I can legit trade with her? Here you go. I want you to not eat me. Mmm. Tender. Juicy. Much better than the stale old mucker I could push us through my boudoir door. The spider smacks her mandibles together, making grotesque chewing sounds as she swallows bits of some poor unfortunate. She stretches out one long leg and licks old blood from whatever a spider has instead of toes. Ew. Um, that makes me wonder if, uh... I forgot what I was gonna say. I bet you that hand had some cool skill. That was a lot of experience. I will tell you a little secret about oh, sick! Oh, jeez. And now he 
wants to weasel his way out of it. That's what else she can do about Riker. Tell her you can't give her more limbs. Um, what can you tell me about Riker? He used to love me. He used to worship at my spinnerets. But now he doesn't talk to his queen anymore. He just milks my venom. Well, sweet little son of Ben. You see how he builds his army? Now I built my own army. Someday he'll walk in here and face not one spider, but legion. Ugh. How is she making babies? That's what I want to know. Tell her you can give her more limbs if she has anything else to trade. Bring me three more hunks of meat for my princess, oh, no. my sweet, my precious, and I will give you something, something handmade by yours truly. Oh man, I have been picking up the body part. Actually, I've been making Sibyl eat them. Don't tarry, my princelings need blood to feed them and bones to grow them. I want that. Try this. No way. Oh, shit. Hello. Go away. Oh, he, he heard me cast that. That's what happened. Garbage. All right. Be back one hot second. I have to go potty. Alright, sorry about that. <sighs> really needed a party. Hey, y'all. Alright, so. Eesh. Giant spider lady. She didn't tell me anything about Riker, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. She looks like a. A little gangster. I love it. <laughs> and dog dog. Right, save. Hey, it's that girl. Okay. Walking willy nilly. I guess we go in here now. Oh, I need. need no, wait, wait, wait.
Okay, there we go. Full party. Why can't you use that? Oh, it can only be cost in combat. Okay. What's that? Why is that locked? What is going on here? here. Lame. I can't kick it back down either. Eh. Go back down. All right. Well, that was worthless. I like how that painting warned me of the death that was upstairs. Hey, buddy. I've spotted something. Really? What is that? Visitor, such a rare and exquisite pleasure. Are you a vampire? The elf tilts his head backwards, but his squinted eyes don't stray from yours. Call me Riker, and I shall call you Ifan. Yes, such fortune that a fellow lone wolf would cross my path purely by chance. Mm, I think I should flatter him. I kind of want to do my interaction and say, have we well, met? The stories are legendary, my good man. As you must have known of me from Lupine Tales, so do I know of you. Any lone wolf would recognize the silver claw on sight. To meet you is a great honor. I suspect you know yourself by yet another name, however. Godwoken. How'd you know? Oh, Ifan. Your reputation surely precedes you. Do you suppose you pass through this land unnoticed? Ugh. I also see you are not yet whole. He presses a slender forefinger against his tight lips and hums. Hmm. I'm not a generous man, but I could give you what you seek if you offer something in return. A fair exchange between one wolf and another. I want to see what he's got in his wares. Nothing. What do you think that I'm seeking? Let's not be so secretive, my good fellow. You're dying to show off those smoldering talents of yours. You just don't know how to handle them. I can help you with that. I can share my bond with the source with you. Fill your well to the brim, make you a master. The rest of the story, well, it's yours to write. You, you want to the Black Pits. There's a cavern there. In it, you'll find a stone tablet of considerable value. He points to the location on your map. Bring it to me. Dizziness. It lasts just a moment, but long enough for you to feel Ralik's presence. You hear no words, yet understand. It's imperative you accept Riker's bargain. The episode passes. 